it's Sarah. All right, so today's video is a little different. I want to talk to you guys about the Pandora Me collection. So those of you who watch my channel, you know I've I've talked about jewelry before. I love Pandora. I've collected it for years. Um, and all my jewelry got stolen, and I had to make a decision. And because I love to play so much, and, you know, Pandora um, gives you the opportunity to change it around and make pick what you like. And anyway, I've, I started collecting again. Now, Pandora Me only just came out and I don't know when I'm not a professional but like within the last five years I would say um, so not like the moments charms these are different I think it came from the essence collection so the essence collection is this small little um, much much smaller so in other words let me show you a moments this is the moments size bracelet and this is the it's much smaller I would say it's at least half the size if not smaller anyway um, so what they did was they created a link chain and the first one that came this is the second generation of it because the first one that came out and I'm just this is to, for you to see what I really want to get to is the sizing on here so this is the thing about that I'm loving about Pandora and May because as my as I've aged I don't know I think my tastes are changing I always wore a seven inch bracelet that was my go-to size this I just got is a seven and a half and it's much bigger it it hangs differently um, anywho I'm, I'm liking that more so a lot of like this is an older bracelet this is probably around a seven and a half so luckily I bought my two-tone class bracelet in a seven and a half. And you know, it it's with the memory, I mean the what is the moment style, you have to put charms on there. So it also it's not actually the same size as the bracelet, it gets smaller. So the idea is you want to get it big enough so that when you put the charms on, it won't be too small. Now, that being said, I just got the the shine. No, this isn't shine the rose class bracelet and I think it's too small because already when I start to put the charms on it it well it's not broken in because I did just I haven't been wearing it it's it but it is small so I feel like I would want to go up a size so that being said um I got the seven inch and that's why I have my ruler out now this is my um, I have the gold too. Well, it's not gold. It's the ball chain. And this is a smaller uh, length than this one. This one is, let's see. And, and, the, and the other thing is, Pandora is made in Sweden, I think. I think the company comes from Sweden. And they use the metric system. And so it's very confusing the way they size their bracelets. I think it's in centimeters, but then they call them size nine size like it's just crazy and I get so confused I can never remember what size I am so just using a ruler this uh, mo I can't remember what it's called um, is seven and a half so with the charms on it it gets smaller so if I put this on my wrist it fits me comfortably is what I'm saying so I don't want to go with a seven I always want to go bigger because once you add the charms to it, it will it it brings the size of the bracelet down. Okay, so this fits me not as big as this one as the seven and a half, but it has a little more movement than this one. So it's very uh, it's interesting, and I, I'm telling you, my bracelets are all over the place. I have this is my Serenity bracelet. I believe is this my serenity this is my home bracelet so like my it's my family bracelet this is my serenity bracelet and I just put this on a bigger let me see how big this one is I have two of these because I love this clasp so much it's the I think it's like a springtime one or something that I got it again because I was so disappointed that I got the small one um, and I couldn't when it was loaded up it was too um, just take the safety off I want to see how big this is and these will fall off without the okay so this one and I don't know I apologize because I don't know 
what it's called but this one almost goes up to with you know without charms on it I would say it's like it's past the seven and a half inch mark so I don't know what size that is like it drives me crazy um all right that's my vent but then I'm gonna put this on I'll put it on and show you and then I'll, I'll get to the me because that is what this is about this bracelet has become such a obsession for me um, because I'll show you why all right let me put this all right and then let me just throw it on here um I just realized that uh, not a lot of there's not a lot of videos on YouTube with the updated um, Pandora me which I, I want to show you okay so this I can definitely fit like two fingers under there it's definitely more it's not sticking to me like this this is the um, I want to say elements what is it called it's the older I can't think of it I'm sorry my brain is dead but this is my gold collection and I wear it with my watch because it doesn't roll around it just stays like a watch but as a bracelet I don't like when my bracelet just sticks to me like that so um, I'm gonna take this off but see that is how I prefer it to, to fall like a little bit down my wrist have a little bit of movement um, essence it's called essence all right so let's get to the Pandora me now this is the second generation I'm gonna come in a little bit so that you can actually see what it looks like this is the second generation and there's two versions in the second generation they came out with a new clasp so the old clasp was just like this like the essence bracelet it was like a ball with the little clip like a clip but this one has a link like a lobster claw but it doesn't have the little pulley down thing you get now this one is different because there's another version of it where all the links are bigger and I think it comes with three of these which I probably should have gotten because this is the key to how you can dress it up so to adding all of the other accessories this measures seven inches so like I said now when I would first got it and I was wearing it and I put it on it fit fine because I was it didn't have anything on it and it was just a link chain and that was fine but then when you when you start adding well I didn't start adding actually all right so let me take I'm gonna take this away but that's you can buy it in all different lengths and honestly I would have opted for the now the other one just has bigger links and I wanted the petite links I don't know why in the moment I that's what I chose okay but here's the magic of Pandora and me so these bigger links and they have like a little bit of a detail in it there's like a line that goes around for some um, like what is that it's not tarnishing but it's like you know you see it so this is a link chain with the clasp on it I'm gonna come back up okay so that's one piece then you take this off this is the actual like connector that you can use and you can put charms on it then there's another little piece of chain in between <clears throat> and then there's a connector and then there's the end of your bracelet all right so once you take it all apart now you can play and this is the fun part so what I have so far I have I'll show you my little charms they're tiny but they can go on these chains too and I believe on the essence they had little stoppers now I don't have any of the stoppers but little basically like little um, foam inside of them like things that stay put you could probably put these you can for sure I know you can um, they fit on the essence bracelet and that's why I think I don't know why they just wanted to go do away with essence because you could have like I love the ball chain I know I have another ball chain this is like a really little thin ball chain but the um I don't know I guess they wanted to make a link but see these fit right on here so I have a little smiley face it has yellow CZs and on the back it's just oh it has it it has a smiley face on the back I have a late uh, a butterfly and this is just like clear CZs. She's kind of half, 
half a butterfly. I have the shooting star. It has like little CZs that are like the shooting part. Um, I have a little flower that has pink and green CZs. Green for the little leaf. I have a rose. It's a bottle cap shape. I don't know why they chose to do a bottle cap of all the shapes in the world <laughs> with a little CZ in it. And I have a unicorn. I love unicorns. So I had to get the, the little unicorn, but they're tiny. They're teensy tiny, but they do add that little element of dangle that I love. So I'm going to take these off here. Okay. Now, there's other things you can get. I just got this. It's a double link black CZ um, link. So it's just like these, but it's got CZs on it. I got another one that is the clear CZs in the same thing. Now, these are connectable, but they don't have an opening. These do not have the same opening as this. So in order to put this on your bracelet, you're gonna need to have it next to something that has an opening. Like this heart I just got. This has an opening, so that's a connector. I put, I have the peace sign on there. Love and peace. The clear CZ one goes next to that because it can get clipped onto here. This is called Rothanium, Rothanium I think. It's like a black gunmetal color and that has an opening. So this is considered a connector. It opens right here, somewhere, right here. So you can put charms on it, you can just use it as a connector. And I have, luckily I got the, the evil eye, they had it at my store, and this is a little Hamsa hand. So I have those on here. And then I have a rose gold believe. This does not have a connector. So in other words, when you're using this, you have to be sure that it, you know, when you're designing, you have to kind of make sure that it has a connection ability, connectability. So I'll show you what I've done. Okay. So now the other thing I love is because I told you this was only seven inches, I can make it as long as I want. And I was kind I don't think that the the kids that are working there kind of understand this as well as I do because I see something and I'm like, oh, I can change it. You know, I can, this is the part I love about it. So when I was trying to build, I'm, she's like, but then you'll take that off. The clasp will be gone. And I'm like, yeah, but there's clasps all along here if you really think about it. Anything that opens is considered a clasp, right, to me. Um, so I could actually just have all connectors and make my own bracelet. I mean, in reality, you could. If you have these connectable pieces, you know, nothing stopping says I have to use this piece of chain. So when I made mine, and I might need to um, look at my picture. So I'm gonna need these two to connect. So this one can connect to here. I think that's how I had it. I'm not positive. Um, So this has both the CZs. This is Believe and it goes this way. See, I don't think this goes here. Um, anyway, by the time I was finished, I was using, I was using the class because now I need it to equal at least seven and a half. So if I put this in here, and I'll put the charms on after the video. I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're at seven right now. We're almost at seven. I have to use this connector. And oh, this is like another thing. I forget these, they call these medallions and it's just an added little thing. It's like a, I can hook this anywhere on the bracelet. It doesn't have, like I can hook it right on the middle of the chain. That's what I've been doing. Um, so I have one more connector because this can't connect to this. This is just a link and that's a link. So I have to put a connector here if I want to put that piece of ch um, chain there. And then I have to put a connector here. Well, actually I don't, I don't, 
because this is a connection, the, the, the clasp. So hold on, I gotta move it down. So see what I'm saying? This clasp has a connection. This can't connect to that without a, a connector. But believe can clasp to that because this is a this is the clasp, you know. So I could click it there, but I'm at seven and a half, and I want to use this other one because I want to put more charms on it. Because this is the only things that can hold my charms. Charms can only go on something that opens. So I think I think this is how I had it. I'm gonna look at my. Um, I'll come back with it all put together, and I'll show you. Okay, so it's all built. I'm gonna come down, try to keep it in the shot. All right. I decided, I my thought was I wanted to separate the rows. So I started with the heart on this end. And a lot of times I watch videos that people are very frustrated that the charms don't say, stay facing forward. I, am, I don't worry about that because I've done my best to make everything kind of face forward, but then once I put it on my wrist, it is what it is. Okay, so I started with the heart with two dangles, the flower and the peace sign. I have the little black link, CZ, another connector that came with the bracelet with two charms, the smiley and my unicorn, believe, so the second rose piece, this ruthenium piece, the circle with two charms, uh, the evil eye and the hamsa, then the clear CZ double link piece, then the the last connector from the original bracelet and I put three pieces on here because that's all the charms I had. I did decide to put all the charms on. Um, the butterfly, the rose bottle cap, and the shooting star. And then the last is a piece of chain with the clasp on it. And it's the longest piece of chain because honestly I didn't have to even, if I wanted the bracelet shorter, I could have put this shorter piece of chain, which it's actually, all it is is it has, it's probably a half inch shorter because it doesn't have the clasp. But because I'm linking it to this heart, I don't need a clasp. I can just use the heart as my clasp. So that's what I was trying to tell the kids. Listen kids, I've been around the block here now. <laughs> so anyway, I decided to use this because I just like this length. Let me get my ruler again. I think it comes to... It's a little bit over seven and a half. So honestly, I could go with that other, eh, no, it's gonna not make it, this is this is the length I wanted it. So um, there it is. So I hope that was helpful, you guys. It is a fun piece of jewelry. I've really enjoyed it. I like texture. I like the different shapes and sizes. I think my next thing is I, I wanted them to come out with a piece of shine because this doesn't have any shine. I think they went with this ruthenium um, or maybe a charm in ruthenium. I, I think they have a whole nother bracelet, a whole bracelet in the ruthenium, whatever, if I'm saying it wrong, sorry. I don't know how to say it. Um, you know, because I'm loving mixing the metals, all that stuff. So this has been a really fun uh, style to get used to. They have a necklace. I don't have it, so anyway. They have lots of other medallions. This is the smaller version of the medallions. They had a big evil eye that I was looking at, but it's a little big. Um, I want them to come out with a star connector, and I thought that would be pretty in the shine, but I don't care. I'll take a silver star, you know, and then I can, I can just, I don't know. I think it would be so fun. All right. I have to be patient, but I am kind of obsessed, <laughs> and I hope this helped. I know in the beginning I went over the whole length thing, um, but with this style of bracelet, you can, if you buy the wrong size, like I've bought the wrong size, literally, and you can't return it. Like once you've worn it a little while, you can't return it. Like it's, you're stuck. So the sizing was my main goal um, to understanding, like I can add and take away from this to make it short or long. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.